come from a dance family. So my mum grew up dancing and she danced for the young Canadians. I have an older sister, a younger brother, and a younger sister, and they all dance. <laughs> and we actually got the chance to dance together one year, which was really special. Dancing is in the genes, and it's in the feet in the family too. When I was three, my mom decided that I was going to be put in dance because she grew up as a dancer, so it wasn't really by choice. And I remember she putting on the ballet tights, and I remember crying and screaming because they were so itchy that I was like, no, not going to do this, but then went to the class and loved it. Later on, when I was five years old, we went skiing, and I tried one lesson and was like, absolutely not. I'm sticking with dance, and from then on, it's been all dance. So it was full-blown dance all the time. I remember our first lesson, and she, uh, Riley's always been a little bit stubborn, and um, I wanted her to stretch a particular way and hold it, and she wasn't quite into that, and that was our very first moment of, uh, this sort of uh, relationship, <laughs> which was great, but um, it's it's Riley's like sense of knowing who she is and uh, her commitment and always having just such confidence in herself, which is what really propelled Riley to being where she is today. The drive I have for dance and the passion I've had for dance since I was probably five years old was a never quit and keep going, keep going, what can I do next? And I felt like if I was only gonna do it one or two times a week, I can't get to the level that I wanted to achieve. So I went hard every day, five times a week, and the results were great. The dance program was quite prestigious, so it allowed me to continue my training at a serious level while still getting the help I needed with my academics to pursue post-secondary. I had never done a lot of travel with dance before, but with the Edge Dance program, I got to travel to Alaska, London, Spain, California. So it was such a great opportunity to see the world and to dance at the same time. I think one of the things that makes all the students really comfortable with Riley is what you see is what you get. There's no false wall. She's incredibly authentic and interested in people. She has an incredible memory for small details. She knows everything about all the kids. I just think that that kind of commitment and interest in other people um, really comes through in those relationships with her students. She was an amazing teacher, by far my favorite out of all of them, I mean obviously. She was happy all the time, very, very outgoing. She would always ask us if something was wrong or she would want to know what's going on with us and I don't know, she was very uplifting and able to get us like in the right mindset. She just really understands us. I think she has realized that there's a real sweet spot in doing something that you love and being able to mentor that and um, set an example or be there for the up and coming generation because she had she had walked that similar path and went back to doing you know what she was completely um, fulfilled with in, in being in the studio and working with those kids and I like to say sh there's a, a real humanitarian or humanist factor to her in the fact that uh, she can relate to people and she um, can mentor these kids because she has those qualities and these kids feel very comfortable uh, going to her and, and talking to her. So she's become a mentor herself within the EDGE framework, but I think just with people and her peers and in life on, on a whole. I'm most proud of the students that I teach. I'm proud of how far they have come and the impact that I've had in their lives and how they look up to me and respect me so much. That feels like such an honor to feel like 
the younger generation looks up to me and that I've played such an important role in their lives and their choices going into the future. So I feel like it's a big responsibility, but also something I'm quite proud of.